ready. We are ready. The audio one? Audio is on. Yes. Oh, and I didn't, I, my problem is my, all my clocks are different times, I think. So, hi everybody. We got, we got a box. So we have to turn our bee around. There's Wiggles. Hopefully we get to turn that around for tomorrow night again. And I've got a few updates. I didn't do the question thing tonight because um, my daughter's here with my grand girl, my grand girls. So I'll do questions <laughs> tomorrow night. So we'll open the box. I'll give you an update. I'll show you Bella, and I will also show you CJ, and let you see her too. We moved her up, and uh, everything's been going real good today. But we got a problem. We got to move you, Tino. Yeah, we gotta move you. Can you move you over? No, he's just a he's just a silly boy. He's just a silly boy. And you? Yep, oh, it's it's Cyrilla. <laughs> so this one is from um, Amazon, the Amazon from Kentucky. And bro. Um, let me check something. I might have a have an email on this one. <laughs> it's a fancy piece and let's see. Nope, don't have one on this one. So maybe somebody will claim this so we'll know. And, oh, this is wonderful. Two cases of Fancy Feast. And it's a senior. I, they like the senior, even the youngsters, because it's extra extra juicy. And that's the senior turkey and giblet. And I think this one is, too. Yep, the senior turkey and giblet. Look at you. What have you got? Thank you. We, we use a lot of food. A lot of mouths, a lot of food here. And the Fancy Feast. We haven't gotten this one for a little while. It's the grilled um, poultry and beef. So, thank you. Sure would, would like to know who sent this. So, um, so yep, there's three cases here. One of the Fancy Feast, two of the Friskies. And if you are on and you did, please just kind of jot it down in the chat line. Maybe Kurt will uh, be able to catch that and let me know. So, thank you. I appreciate all the food. Because we use so much food... <laughs> Because there's so many kitties. There's so many kitties. Are you going to take some home with you tonight? You wish. I know you wish. Um, I'll say Bella for last. Hi there, Beverly. Uh, we had two visitors this morning. It was Speedy and Vicky, and that was so nice of them. And I got to open an early box while they were here. Actually, there were bags and bags and bags and bags of stuff. That Speedy and Vicky both brought. So we decided we would just go ahead and put things away, but I would make note of it so that you would all know what they brought. <clears throat> they brought Clorox wipes, spoons, paper towels. They brought treats for the volunteers. Q-tips, pet wipes, kitty treats, fancy feast, Ein's canned food, a rug, pillowcases, blankies, and litter. So that was a really another big gold mine. Um, I don't know what we do without you guys' help. You guys are a huge, big part of what helps this place keep moving. It's so important, and it's important. I love what we do here, and uh, financially, it's a struggle without help, and you guys really make it so much easier for us. Uh, I just thought this might be interesting for you all to know. When Twinkle came in, she weighed 5 pounds, 5 ounces. And the other day when we weighed her, she weighed 6 pounds, 6 ounces. So she's gained um, a whole pound and one ounce for a good measure. And she looks like a whole different cat. She looks really good. In magenta, we weighed her also. She weighs a whole whopping 4 pounds, 15 ounces. And that is so little, but you all know that's just what magenta is. Um, she's just a little girl. And uh, she's. I, I checked back on her previous weights and she's right there in the strays more than four maybe five ounces one way or the other up and down so she's fine she's doing really good just in case somebody saw a carrier 
uh, maybe half hour go out of here. Remember, um, well, her real her name now is Pearl, but oh, it was uh, Spat, the black and white cat that we've been boarding for a week. Her mom got out of the nursing home today, so she immediately got a ride, and somebody brought her over, and they got to take Spat home. So. I was really, really, really happy for um, Spats or Pearl. She loves her mama. I, I know there were some of you waiting for PJ to come this morning to adopt Gramanique. It didn't work out. I think PJ is going to get back with me and we'll set up a new time. Tomorrow at 12 o'clock, uh, DCTV, you know how they come once a month to tape us for um, our local channel. They're going to be here tomorrow. It's always a half hour show. They usually bring us a disc from the previous month, and Kurt usually puts them on Ustream for people to see. So we're going to do that tomorrow. Uh, we'll probably show some cats, talk about some of the stories, uh, about Elder Beerman thing that's coming up, and uh, that we did the Walmart, just things like that, kind of catch people up to date on what we've been doing. Let me see here. Tukey, our wonderful little Tukey girl. I don't see her right now. But she's here somewhere. She's going to be leaving Saturday about 4 o'clock-ish. She's that little calico girl with the four white paws. Just an itty-bitty little girl. So that's Tukey. She'll be leaving Saturday at 4, so that'll be really nice. It's, that'll be a great home for her. Uh, Walmart today came, and they delivered a lot of dog, dry dog food to help us. And then we share that with two other local my uh, dog rescues, so we like doing that. And there was also some canned uh, cat food in there and a little bit of litter, too. So we appreciate Walmart helping us out with that. <laughs> uh, we have another two kitties that were adopted today, officially adopted, and that is Taurine and Diffy. You all know them from the crypto kitties. They, you guys have not seen them out here very much at all lately because they haven't been out here. They've been upstairs in Kurt's room upstairs. Um, I always knew this was going to happen. About a month ago, maybe it was, he adopted Dugster. And at the same time, he was always taking uh, Turing and um, Diffie also. Well, in the last few weeks now, I don't think they've been out here, but maybe just a couple times. So... I knew it was going to happen, where he was going to have to adopt him, because they love him. It's plain as plain to see that that they just love him to pieces. So he's going to officially adopt him. Well, he already has. So we're going to count that as two adoptions. And they really don't come down in the house very much at all. They stay up there. They know that long to Kurt. And there's two bedrooms upstairs that he has access to, and that's where they're staying. Uh, so I'm real happy about that. But I knew it was going to happen. I knew it. Uh, that's all I have. But I will do the questions tomorrow night. Since uh, since Karen and the girls are here, I didn't want to do that. But let me show you two kitties here. Okay, quite a bit. Good. Uh, no, it's a youngster. Youngster, not an well, oldster. I, I noticed that. Yeah. She's very, very skinny. She has like two good sized servings. Okay, maybe right before you go, you could give her another yeah. big blob. So this is CJ. I, I believe we talked about her last night. She's a polydactyl. She's the one who, oh, it's okay. In between here where the extra toe is. These are the ones that were so long because they don't get the pressure that the others do um, that they were embedded inside her pads on both feet. So uh, we had to, we cut them and then actually had to pull them out of her pads. She's really, really, really thin. Uh, doesn't have a lot of energy. She's just been sleeping an awful lot. She's here in Dod Dodger's Pen in uh, the, the old office. What are you looking at? Are you watching, are you watching Bella? She's really a nice kitty. We had some visitors today off and on, and she was carried around a little bit to everybody um, just to kind of walk around. She's going to be fine out here, but we need to get a little weight on her and help her get a little bit of energy in her because you probably don't have very much, do you? So she's named CJ after one of our webcam friends. 
All right, let's put you back. She's going to get better. <laughs> okay, girl, honey. Oh, what's going on? What's going on? Come here. Oh, come here, Bella. And if you notice, Bella does not have her e-collar on right now. I took it off. Here, honey. There we go. Yeah, I'll set her down. Took it off maybe an hour, hour and a half ago, and she has not picked at it at all. But tonight before bedtime really happens, she's got to have her e-collar, uh, or the, the, the e-collar, we call them, back on because I don't trust her at all. Um, come here. Okay, let me hold it this way. Settle down. It's all right. She's, um, she, I'm, every time I checked her during the night, she really was not sleeping. She was sternal and had the e-collar on, and I just think she felt uncomfortable with it and didn't want to lay down on her side. Now, Kurt said he came out and checked on her once and that she was sleeping at that time. But this morning, she slept an awful lot, and she's just been kind of quiet, but one of the pain meds that we give her uh, does make her a little bit sleepy, which is just fine to do that. She did not eat this morning, and she has still not peed or poopied yet. Uh, but that's going to happen soon, I hope, because she just finally did start eating a little bit. Uh, even the chicken food she's turned down this afternoon. Um, we opened up a, that can that we got last night or night before, the real chicken, and she did eat a little bit of that. I know for a fact she will go back on her chicken food because we all know how much she loves it. But it's a, she's a little off. But her incision looks wonderful. Uh, she's not picking at it right now. But like I said, she is not going to go um, without anyone watching her um, and not have that e-collar on. So before too long, we'll put that back on. But it was kind of nice because after she did eat that little bit of chicken, she actually sat up and, and groomed herself. So that was nice to see. We've held her a few times, but I haven't bothered her too much. I've checked on her a million times today, but I haven't um, picked her up too, too much today because uh, she has been sleeping a lot, so we didn't want to disturb her. So she's doing pretty good. Sure glad to have her back. I didn't like her being gone overnight. So thank you, everybody. Hello. Here, Bella girl. Yeah. Oh, it's okay, honey. She's I had told Stacy that Dr. Um, P wanted to make sure that her bedding was very thick so that there was no pressure on it. And that sweet Stacy, she made it like it's probably this thick. There's no pressure on that, that incision at all. She's got a very comfortable place in there. So we'll take good care of her, and I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, we got a busy couple days coming up, just lots of odds and ends stuff, and um, we'll just uh, keep on taking care of these kitties. Thank you for joining us. I appreciate you guys. Keep on voting. We're still number one. Our um, uh, percent went up a little bit more, so we got a little bit of a safety cushion there, but we had seven weeks to go to, to hold that lead, so please help us. Please, please vote, and uh, We'll get back with you tomorrow night, Dan. Thanks, everybody.